I'm Giselle Kennedy and I work at the university. Um, I work as the volunteering officer here. Um, and I really love my job, it's great. Um, I didn't always know that I wanted to work in a kind of higher education, semi-third sector environment. Um, and when I was in your position and thinking about what I wanted to do, I had no idea and I got a bit worried about it because my friends were saying, right, I've got an internship, I've got, I've got this, I've got that, um, I've already been accepted on a graduate traineeship and I thought, ah, I've not done any of these, so don't worry about it, it's fine. Um, I think my top tip would be to maybe do what I did and get some, um, some experience um, in a working environment. So there's uni temps on campus, which is brilliant. Um, and I did quite a lot of that when I was in my final year. Um, and I still wasn't sure what I wanted to do even when I graduated. So I went to work at Nottingham Trent International College. And I just did an internship, minimum wage. And I kind of felt like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But once I was there... I really liked it, I settled in and it was only for six months but it was so I could get more experience in an area that I was quite interested in. So don't worry if you don't get kind of like the graduate job that you think <coughs> you should get when you, uh, when you graduate. Um, so I picked up all sorts of skills there, database management, event management, um, just all sorts of different things, speaking to stakeholders, um, really important people and just learning how to do that. Um, and I haven't just had that job since um, graduating, I've had quite a few. So after that, I went to work at Nottingham University and I was working in the Nottingham Advantage Award, which some of you may have heard of, and it's a really great way that you can um, get more skills that um, sort of market, it helps you to market yourself to employers and you get to meet um, employers as well. So it's a great way to network and build those kinds of skills. Um, so actually me being here is kind of helpful in a way because I've already worked in the career service. Um, after that, because that was a contract that I'd actually done through uni temps, I, um, I decided I wanted to work in the private sector just to get some experience because I never ever worked in the private sector. Everyone was saying it's hard graft, you know, it's really difficult, stay at the university, it's easier work. But I thought, oh no, I'll, I'll go and find out for myself. So um, I worked for a startup company in the lace market selling modest fashion clothes and it was really hard. It was, it was. It was just, it was difficult because it was such a tiny company and I was expected to do so much and, and everything was kind of like starting out and I didn't have any proper guidance because it was up to me to decide which kind of stock we were going to take on and all sorts. So I did that for a little while but I missed working in higher education. So I came back and uh, that's led me to do what I do now, so volunteering officer and um, I get to speak to such interesting people. Like the other day I met the ex-head of MI6, um, Sir John Sawyers, and he had all sorts to tell me. He was a fascinating man, um, and I, I put on events, I, um, I interview people regularly, I do marketing, website building, and these are actually skills that I've developed on the job. So you can always sell yourself. Um, have, with not having the skills that you think you should have. So if you see a, a role description for a job, a job description, and you think, oh, I don't have everything that they're looking for, don't be worried about applying for it, because being an American Studies graduate from Nottingham University has such impact with employers. We're one of the best universities in the country. So I think you can use those kinds of things to sell yourself. Um, think about what you've learnt on your degree, the sort of presentation skills you might have had, um, the fact that you're articulate, that you can write really well, so you might want to do copywriting. Just think about the skills that you've got, and there will be a job for you. I think one of my top tips is dealing with when it doesn't go quite to plan and you think that you've found the perfect job and you go to your interview because you've got that far and you think, right, this is, this is going to be amazing, I'm going to get this, and you just don't. And you think, what did I do wrong? Why, why didn't I get it? I would have been perfect for that job. But actually, you might just not have been the right fit for the company and it, they probably weren't the right fit for you, ultimately. Don't worry about it. Um, there will be the right job for you. 
um, and just just enjoy yourselves. Whilst you're at university, I think it's really important to enjoy yourselves because you pick up skills from being in a club or society or from volunteering or doing students in classrooms mm -hmm. that then helps you to market yourself. So it's about getting involved and taking advantage of the opportunities that come your way. I learned to skydive at university and, and climb and become an international swing dancer, which you might not expect, but I did. And I did it all here. So really do take advantage of everything that's available to you. Um, I'm just trying to think of the other things. I think the setbacks of my role that I do now are that I think higher education can be quite hierarchical. Um, there's also a bit of a divide, so in academia, I'd say it's more of a male environment, whereas in administration, it's more of a female environment. So there are things to expect with that. Um, it's also, I think sometimes there can be a bit of a glass ceiling, um, and there, there will be things when you're in a job and you notice there are really great things and you, you love going to work, but there are also bad things about the role that you do. So it's about having the balance. Um, and making sure that you you ha you enjoy your life as well. It's not all about work. Enjoy your life, um, and uh, yeah. But make sure that you do a role that you like doing. It's not always about money. It's about about being passionate about what you do because that's what mm. that's why you're here. That's why you're at university doing doing a degree that you like. I'll pass on now. <laughs> <laughs>